So before I was watching uh, the latest episode of Call the Midwife, and it was all, uh, where it was um, had the midwife was dealing with her first delivery of a disabled child, um, and they sort of had look at sort of how the family cope with it and sort of how they deal with it and how they have what they decide to do with with the child and they go to a home and they sort of uh, look around it and. You know, it's basically where they put all disability people really, and it kind of sort of got me thinking about as 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 choose to disability because obviously back then it was kind of sort of seeing as something to be ashamed of, and it sort of reminded me of because my dad told me about stuff when he was in high school how because he's got an eye condition same as me which is anaridia where there's not quite a lot of eyes in the word <laughs> from the look it up, um yeah so he he was basically put put in a class with all the other disabled people. And they were labelled as the freak class. Yes, so obviously that wasn't very good, and he didn't really have a good time there. Um, and obviously, I think now nowadays we are a little bit better. I mean, I've still had sort of experience of being bullied, um, you know, and stuff like that, and you know, about my eyesight, and just generally, you know, people who I don't even know will just come past me in the hallway and just be like this in my face, you know. Um, well, say how, how many fingers am I holding up? You know, kind of thing. Um, you know, and obviously it sort of got to uh, a point where you know I got sort of attacked and got kicked and punched and stuff like that, um, which I never, really, I never really, really reported, which I, I probably should, should have done really. Um, but anyway, you know, um, and that sort of made me sort of hate my disability really because it felt like I was being punished for it and it felt you know there's a lot, a lot of sort of feelings there um, but yeah I think like because obviously since I've come to university and stuff it just feels more accepted and just it, it was just like yeah oh you've got an eyesight oh, that's all right you know um, so you know it has sort of made me feel better with that I mean I, I still do feel a bit sort of limited at times and a bit frustrated by it at times because you know, because that's also sort of natural, really, to feel a bit limited by it. And I think it, disability shouldn't be displayed as such a negative thing, though, really. I mean, even the word disability I hate. I think it's really negative, and it just, uh, you know, it just it just annoys me so much. Um, you know, I mean, yes, people might be limited by, by their impairments, um, but, you know, they, they still can achieve things, and they still can do things, and... You know, looking at sort of the Paralympics last year, you know, that's sort of amazing things that people can do even though they have these disabilities. You know, and sort of good positive role models, you know, and we should, you know, we shouldn't try and hide people away or try and punish someone for being different because, you know, we're all different in every single way. You know, the, you know, we, some people might have, you know, a, actual physical differences or, you know, uh, sort of. Uh, men mental or, or psychological differences and you know we shouldn't isolate anyone just because of that you know and I think I think you know this disability does does need to be seen in a sort of more positive way you know and sort of just just to see be seen in a more accepted way really